Beam down smoke. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. My name is Nalo and today's video is going to be about the Road to Rio investing and how you guys can prepare for it when it does come. This video is meant to prepare you for the Rio Major when it does occur, kind of give you an idea of how much money you might want to save up by the time you get there, and sort of how sticker investing functions, and maybe some rumors for other things that you might be able to invest in for the first time when this Major comes around. Before we get to that though, let's go ahead and take a look at BitBot. The sponsor for today's video is BitBot, so BitBot is something you can use on Steam to trade your Arcanas to Bitcoin or Bitcoin to Arcanas, vice versa of course, and it is a very simple bot. All you have to do is go ahead and add the bot and then use its simple commands in order to exchange these two. So if you do use Bitcoin and you want Arcanas or if you have Arcanas and you want Bitcoin, go check out BitBot. There is a link in the description below to this bot on Steam. All you have to do is check it out. I also want to say that the rates for this bot are actually really good. The $18 is very close to the original value of an Arcana, so that makes the bot a really good one to trade with. So that's BitBot. Go ahead and check out the link in the description below if you are interested in using their service. So the road to Rio. In terms of a regular tournament, those are just going to be qualifier tournaments that are leading up to the actual major, but for us, the road to Rio is going to be a road that we have to go ahead and traverse before we are able to invest in those Rio stickers. Although the major is a long way away, I figured I'd make this video now just because there's going to be a lot of preparedness that you have to take into account and some rumors that I want to go ahead and talk about as well for the upcoming major in terms of investing that I think are important to clear up before we actually get to it. So beginning probably with rumors, one of the biggest rumors is that we're going to have team patches. Now as we all know, agents were released in the Shattered Web operation and then they released patches a little bit later on which you could actually apply to your agents in groups of three and you could make the agents a little bit more personalized with those patches. Now unfortunately patches were not worth the hype and a lot of them are very cheap even the ones that were initially around $80 like the Howl. Now in terms of validity for this rumor, I do think there is a decent amount of truth behind it. I mean, they did of course release patches and agents, which are both things that would kind of mesh really well with some actual team patches. Another factor of course is that the agents are of course in-game, and I think Valve knows that a lot of players would like to show off their favorite teams while they're playing in-game. I would say that team patches are something that you probably shouldn't expect simply because we have no confirmation from Valve that this is going to happen, and you should never try to invest or expect something that we have no confirmation of, but I do think it's something that you should consider as a potential thing happening, and maybe you should set aside a little bit of money for them. Now as for the regular investing, that means stickers, capsules, etc. I do think that there should be a decent amount of money that you put aside for this, because they tend to always be a pretty good idea. I mean, look at Berlin. Even though the sticker sale lasted for so long, and the quantity of the stickers were so much higher than other majors, we still did see massive profits on, for example, the Navi papers, which was something that a lot of people probably didn't expect. Now one thing to also consider here is that the length that the sticker sales does impact how quickly these items are going to rise in price. If, for example, we look at previous year's sticker sales, they are a lot shorter than the ones that we've had recently, like Berlin and Cato 19. As for this upcoming major, obviously we don't know how long Valve is going to make it, but based on the trends that we have seen in the past, I would say that Valve is probably going to make the sticker sale longer than Berlin, maybe by a few days, maybe by even up to a month. We don't really know for sure, and so that's something we're just going to have to find out when it happens. Simply put, sticker sales have been very erratic in the amount of time that they've been active, so so it's going to be hard to figure out how long the Rio one is while we're kind of stuck in this state right now. I would say though, regardless of how long a sticker sale is, these stickers tend to be a pretty much guaranteed chance of profit. I mean, obviously some of them are not so much, but for the most part, a lot of those papers are going to be pretty much guaranteed profit if you just wait long enough on them. So I think it's still a good idea to set aside money despite how long the sticker sale could potentially last. Now as for some recommendations of stickers you should look for when this actual major rolls around, obviously simple signatures are going to be a big one and Navi stickers in general simply because that is probably the most popular team around right now. If Tyloo makes it to the Major, which I believe will happen if they do their normal actual qualifier matches, I think that Tyloo is also a good option to invest in. Those Chinese investors could only become even more strong as we move into a potential of China getting steam, which is a rumor that's also been floating around recently as well. To clarify on that if you're confused, China doesn't actually have official access to steam. They do have some third-party developers, I believe, which have allowed them access to steam, but it's not really an overall official thing. So there are a lot of people in China that don't 
use Steam simply because they don't have official access to it. They do, of course, have access to CSGO via Perfect World CSGO, which is the collaboration between Valve and Perfect World to bring CSGO to the Chinese economy. So while they have access to CSGO, they don't really have access to Steam as a whole. As we know, though, from a few articles, this is something that could happen in the future, so we'll just have to see if that does happen before the Rio Major. That being said, another good option for investing in this upcoming Major is going to be those sort of one-off teams that just happen to be at the Major for that one time. This is something that has always occurred in CSGO, for example, with like my XMG that was back in Dreamhack 2014, Reason Gaming back in Katowice 2014, a bunch of teams that don't usually make it to majors but just randomly made it to this one because of a nice qualifier run. Just make sure that you are investing in those teams that do have good logo designs because ones with bad logo designs aren't going to be popular despite even being one-offs. And as always, legendary teams that have a very popular opinion in the public eye such as Liquid and Astralis are always going to be good choices for sticker investing. I will say though that there is still a good amount of time before we actually make it to the Rio Major, and I will be making a follow-up video to this one once that Major actually hits to give you guys a better idea of how the stickers are actually going to work, since obviously right now we don't know what the stickers even look like. However, as for right now, because of the Rio qualifiers happening, we do have a fairly good idea of some teams that are going to be making it, so it's still an okay idea to make this video, and it's also good to talk about how much money you should invest into for this actual Major itself. Now, there are a lot of factors that we don't actually have control over that we don't really know any idea of right now that is going to make it a little bit hard to decide how much money to put forward for this major, but I would say to at least set aside around $20 at the very least because these are still going to be stickers that are pretty profitable regardless. Obviously if the stickers look great and the hollow effects look great then they're going to be a better sticker to invest in just like if they are closer to Katowice 2014 in terms of design and if the stickers are closer to something like Berlin or Katowice 2019 in design where there's only a few good stickers then I would maybe say that it's probably not the greatest idea to go really big onto these stickers themselves. A big factor of sticker investing is realizing that they have to be actually destroyed or applied to weapons in order to have the quantity lower at a vast rate, so the stickers looking better and having really good looking designs is going to influence how much they're applied to weapons. We also of course know that the sticker sale may in fact be very long for this upcoming major, just so they can get a good amount of money back from the fact that they had to postpone the major all the way up until November at the current moment. However, of course, it, that could change with the coronavirus, we don't really know. I would say, like I said before in this video though, that it doesn't really matter how long the sticker sale is, a lot of these stickers are still going to be good investments if you wait enough time, so it's still a good idea to put aside money for them and kind of throw them into a storage unit once you buy them, regardless of how long the sticker sale lasts. During the sticker sale, the pricing is going to be as follows. Usually capsules are about $1.50, the hollow slash foil ones are. The autograph capsules are usually about $0.25 cents per capsule, and then the regular paper stickers are also about $0.25. Cents. Usually items are about 75% off during the sticker sale, and so if we do see those team patches like I mentioned earlier in this video, that could be a potential idea. Those could also be up to 75% off for the sticker sale itself. Anyway, in conclusion to this video, this is always going to be a great event for sticker investing, and it's always going to be something that you want to go ahead and at least check out when it does occur. A lot of this stuff is very cheap to buy into, which means it has a very low barrier for investments, and you can make a lot of your money back on that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave me a like below, and also consider subscribing to the channel for the latest and greatest investment tips anywhere else on YouTube. Also be sure to check out my Discord, Twitter, and also my Reddit below, and also be sure to check out BitBot if you guys are interested in using it. These are all going to be great resources for your investing endeavors. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I really thank you for taking time out of your day to come check it out with me. Thank you guys so much for 7,000 subscribers, and I hope we'll hit more milestones in the future. Love you all. See you all next time. Peace.